All right, fellas, here's what you've been waiting for. How do you get the Android market on your Kindle Fire? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. First of all, make sure your Fire is hooked up to your computer. You've already rooted it and everything. Uh, we're going to talk about that here in a second. But there is the Fire. It is plugged up via a USB micro cable. It is plugged into my Mac. I'm running Parallels to do this, to do it on Windows 7. So just make sure you have that, that part of the equation set up, and then you should be good to go. If you haven't seen my rooting tutorial, make sure you check out the rooting tutorial to learn how to root your Kindle Fire and get familiar with that. And once you do that, then you can proceed to adding Android Market and all the apps that come with the Android Market. Now, the first step you want to do is just to reroute your device using a super one click. The reason we do this is because you need the permissions enabled for ADB in order to um, remount using ADB. So we're going to go ahead and click the root button in the upper left hand corner of super one click right there, and it'll kill the ADB server. It'll go through this here, and you'll see your device appears to already be rooted. That's fine. You just want to click yes, um, and I'll explain that a little bit later if we get time. But go ahead and click yes there, and this, this will proceed with the root. Uh, this allows you, like I said, to use the remount command with the Android development bridge and allows you to have root access with ADB. So it's going to finish here momentarily. This shouldn't take too much longer. If you follow the rooting tutorial, then you've already seen this. You're already familiar with Super One Click, so this shouldn't be much of anything to you by now. So it's killing ADB and restarting as root, which is a very good thing. That's exactly what we need. And then pretty soon it should be done here. And I ask you if you want to perform a test, you can just click no. Uh, we don't need to do that, and we already know that we are uh, at root on ADB, so we should be good. So just click on no there. And now we can go ahead and close out of Super One Click. We're done here. All we need to do with Super One Click for now. Next step, we need to go ahead and download the Android Market APK folder. This is how you actually get the files that you need to install Android Market on your device. So let's go ahead and download that. You'll find the link in the article or the description of the video. Let's go ahead and save that. We're going to save it and then extract it to our C drive. We need the Market folder right there on the C drive. So we're going to go ahead and save. And I'm not really a Windows user anymore, so it's kind of kind of weird to me. It's kind of clunky the way this is working out. But I'll manage. So let's go ahead and let's go, actually, let's go back to our C drive. We need to extract this folder, of course. Right click, extract all. And it's trying to give it that weird name. So let's name it market, C colon backslash market. We need the files right in that particular folder. So we got that right. Let's go ahead and click Extract. And as you can see, it's extracting the files. And there it is. There is the market folder under the C drive. Let's check it out here. Oh, looks like we have an extra folder in there. So now, yeah, we need to get rid of. OK, let's go back into market. And let's let's see how we're going to do this. Hmm. Let's just go back into the uh, market folder here. Let's see, right here. We'll just copy it, cut it, and paste it. So right click and cut these files here, go back, and we need to put it right here under the main market folder. That's where we need to place it. So there we go, we pasted that, and now we can delete this other market folder, which is unnecessary. And now, finally, we're good to go. Uh, let's just go ahead and delete the uh, zip file. There we go. So now we have it. There's the market folder under the C drive with the three files, Google Feedback, Google Services, Framework, and Vending. So we're good to go in that aspect. Make sure you have all three of those files that are named exactly like that. Now let's head over to our command prompt. Just go to start and then type CMD, enter. This will open up your command prompt. We're going to execute some commands. You can just literally copy and paste these commands as long as you have the Android SDK installed like I showed you in the rooting tutorial. We have to have it installed in C colon backslash Android. Um, if you've done that, otherwise you just need to make sure your um, your directory is correct in this step. So just verify that you have the right directory. So I have it under Android platform tools. Yours could be different, but if you follow my tutorial, it should be the same. Then you want to just paste this command here, ADB remount. This is the command I was telling you about why we needed to do the reroute again, because otherwise you get an error message operation uh, denied. So the remount succeeded. That is a very good thing. That will allow us to get those files copied over to the system directory. So let's go ahead and copy this next command over. And as you can see, this is an ADB push command. So as it says, it pushes the files from uh, the uh, C colon backslash 
market directory. It pushes that Google feedback file over to the system app folder and pushes the same file over there. You can see the bytes transferred right there. So that is pushing it over to your Kindle. Next command is another ADB push command. We're gonna just send over all three of these files, as you can tell, the uh, Google feedback, Google services framework, and the vending. So let's do the second one. And just right click up in here, select edit and paste, and then enter. And that should copy that over. So two down, one last one to go, the vending dot apk just copy that right click edit paste enter and it's copying and that copying is done now all we need to do is reboot our device just put in adb space reboot and then it'll reboot your kindle just like that super simple super easy so let's head over to our kindle and let's see it reboot here Here's our Kindle, and it should be rebooting momentarily. There it is, the Kindle Fire logo. And this kind of flashes on and off a couple of times, so don't don't fret over that. It's normal. That's just how Amazon rolls. All right, so we'll just wait and play the Jeopardy game a little bit. But this is a really, really easy process to get Android uh, Market running on your Kindle Fire. As long as you rooted it, it's super simple. I mean, it's not much to it at all. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. You can get apps like Gmail, Spotify, uh, various other apps that you can't normally get. Okay, so here we are at our lock screen, and this is it. So let's unlock our device, and now we can go down here, and uh, you see it's still hooked up to the USB cable, so we can just disconnect, hit the disconnect button right there at the bottom. No big deal. All right, let's head back up, and uh, next step, let's go to apps, and let's see if we see the Android market. No, we don't. You see right on the device, there is no Android market. So what do we do? Well, we need to take another step because Amazon, their launcher application does not see Android market for whatever reason. So let's go to store. And now we're going to have to download our own launcher so that it can see the Android market. So in here, just type go and then enter. And that'll find the go launcher EX, the second one right there. You want to install that. This is a pretty good launcher, pretty awesome launcher. You're going to like this, folks. It's it's designed for a mobile phone, obviously, but it works perfectly on the uh, Kindle Fire. And it, more importantly, allows you to see Android Market. So it's downloading, and it's installing, and not too much longer to go. Now our app is ready to use, so just go ahead and tap on Open. And there it is. So it's going to ask you if you want to copy your home screen only icons from the other launcher. Don't even worry about this. Uh, it's invalid. It has no bearing on what we're trying to do. So just tap on cancel there. And then it's going to ask you to hit OK there. And here is our new launcher. It's a little different, isn't it? It looks more iPhone-esque, as you may say. Not You don't have the uh, bookshelf. But more importantly, there is the market right there in the bottom. You see the Android market? There it is. Now, one last important step that I recommend that you all take is to hit the home button in the bottom left hand corner, and this will bring up the launcher panel. You can complete the action using one of two launchers. I recommend, well, you see this launcher right here at the bottom? That is the stock Amazon interface. Um, and that's cool and all, but I recommend that you just set your launcher by default to the Go launcher. So if you tap this little box right here, you should see use this default action and then click on or tap on Go Launcher, and that will make Go Launcher def your default launcher. So whenever you hit home, it actually goes to Go Launcher. So I just recommend you do that. You don't have to, but I recommend it. Now, if you tap Android Market, it'll ask you to add your account to your device. All right, and then add an account. And then if you uh, look down at the bottom right-hand corner, you can go ahead and click on or tap on Next. I keep saying click. Been using Windows a little bit too much lately. Tap on Next here, and then we'll go back up. And do you have a Google account or do you don't have a Google account or already have one? I already have one, obviously. So now you can sign in with your Google account. Just type in your username and password right there. Done that. And it's, notice it says your phone needs to set up there because this is designed, this launcher is designed for a phone. That's fine. Just tap finish setup in the bottom right hand corner. And there you go. One more accept button. Just tap on the accept button. By using this Android Market, you agreed, blah, blah, blah. There it is, folks. There is Android Market on your Kindle Fire in all its glory. I told you it wasn't that hard, was it? Uh, you have all these apps. 
You have apps like Gmail, YouTube, Spotify, Google Music, and tons more apps where that came from. Just tap on apps here, and we'll see lots and lots of different games, apps, 3D games. I mean, way more than you will find on the Amazon App Store by far. So let's just search for let's search for Gmail here. Let's G. All right, there it is. Tap that, and then you should see Gmail right at the top. So you can install that just by tapping it. And it's a lot better than the stock Amazon mail client, in my opinion. And you have YouTube, of course. Let's go ahead and install YouTube. Let me just give you an example of what installing an app on the Android market is like. So it's downloading YouTube. And uh, it's installing YouTube. Then you should see an open button. And there's the open button. Just tap open, and it'll open up YouTube, which is a lot better than the iOS version of YouTube. Much better, actually. So let's search for my jailbreak movies. There we go. And let's load up one of our videos here. Let's see which one should we load up. Kindle Fire versus iPad 2. How appropriate. And there it goes. It's plain. So that is how you get Android Market on your Kindle Fire. It's super simple, super easy. If you like this, thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know. Retweet it. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your dog. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, folks. This is Jeff with KindleFireWire.com.